the role. And no man's ever been able to escape. <laughs> I will escape the role. You will not escape the role. I will escape the role. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> escape the role. <laughs> I can't escape the role. Told you. But what happens now? I've suddenly grown fond of the role. So I planned the perfect day for us. So far, so good. But it's not today. It's... What do you mean? It's next Saturday. Next Saturday? Mm-hmm. We're gonna start by waking up bright and early. We're gonna watch the sun come up. We're gonna take oh, a nice wait, long Wait, hot. wait, next Saturday is Carol's wedding. I know, that's why I planned the perfect day for us. Oh, wait, I have... I have to go to Carol's wedding. Why? So you can be like all sad and mopey and oh poor poor me? Well... Ed, the average person has 26,452 days on this earth. Do you really want to spend one of them watching Carol Vesey marry Dennis Martino? No. No, I don't. Honey, no, I've said it a thousand times, but I will say it again. I really appreciate you changing your mind about Ed coming to the wedding. No problem. It's really important to me that he's there. Listen, I don't care who else is there as long as you show up. Hmm. celebrate my big sister's wedding with the sincere hope of having a few too many wine spritzers and hooking up with the groomsmen. <laughs> but your flight wasn't due in until 7 p.m. Oh, I know. I ended up not flying. You didn't? What? How'd you get here? Uh, a few of us were out, and I met this guy, Ron. He, he does something with money or something, and uh, he offered me a ride. Wait, you met a man in Boston who offered you a ride to Ohio? Yep. Is he here? No, he dropped me off and went back. Really? So where's the big man of mystery? I want to meet my future brother-in-law. He's upstairs. <laughs> Yo, Dennis, get your ass down here and meet the better Vesti sister. Shut up. So, Eddie, what can you tell us about the reappearance of your little friend, Jennifer? A little too early to tell. Well, one thing to tell is she's still hot. She's very, very hot. Is that right, Michael? Just because I'm on a diet doesn't mean I can't eat the food. The saying is just I'm on a diet doesn't mean I can't read the menu. And I don't want to read the menu. I want to eat the food. Well, you can't, Mike, because you're on a diet. That's right, the Nancy diet. The lifelong Nancy diet. Sorry, buddy. Oh, look at this. It's the gang. Hey, guys. It's so adorable the way you guys just, like, chew on life and rib each other. I love it. Have you seen that show 30-something? What can we do for your warmth? I decided to write a hilarious song parody in honor of Carol's impending nuptials. And uh, I thought we could all have a little inside baseball talk, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, her, uh, her foibles, embarrassments, sex exploits. I don't think Miss Vessie would like you putting her sex points to a song. So, there are sex points. She's here. Yeah, all right, everybody pretend like we're talking about something else. My God, the dollar just seems more vulnerable than ever, huh? First the euro, then the yen. Pretty soon the peso is going to be kicking our ass. Oh, hi, Miss Vesey. Hi, guys. Everybody, I want you to meet my little sister, Stella. Obviously, no Molly. Nancy, hi. Mike, hi. Warren, Mark, hi. and hi. Ed. Hey. So let's get right to it. Who's doing what on the big day? Oh, Nancy, you're a bridesmaid? Yeah. yeah. Molly, you ousted me for the maid of honor spot, which I'm cool with. Good. What about you two? Flower girls? <laughs> Mark and Warren are actually my students. Do you ever fall asleep when she talks? I do. Yeah, all the time. Warren. Hey, don't oh, come on. I'm just rapping with Stella. There's a brave one. What about you, Ed? Can we make him an honorary bridesmaid? Um. <laughs> Carol. Yeah. Can I talk to you a second? Sure.
I'm not coming to the wedding. What? Yeah, I just, I just don't think it'd be a good thing. Wow, um, that's a surprise. This, this is about Dennis because, you know, he's actually fine with you coming. No, it's not Dennis. I just think it'd be better for everyone if I wasn't there. Okay, if, uh, if you think that is best. It is. Okay. All right, check this. My name is Warren Cheswick and I'm here to say Carol Bessie's getting married in every way. Holy crap. What? You have achieved a level of lameness so pure it can only be recreated in strict laboratory conditions. What are you talking about, Ben? Of course, take care of Missy Rap. She's getting married in every way. Really? Is, is that just fine with you? Oh, hey. This is Miss Vessie's little sister. You know, maybe she can give me some stuff to work with. Excuse me, uh, Stella, right? Flower girl. <laughs> right. What kind of trouble are you up to? Trouble? No, no trouble. No? When I was your age, I was always in trouble. <laughs> really? Now I'm old, so I slowed down a little bit. Oh, come on, you're not old. Guess my age, I'll give you a sell back. I don't know, like, uh, 28. 59 last Thursday. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need to write, like, this funny song about Miss Fessy. Well, please call her Carol. Miss Fessy will freak me out. Okay, well, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, like, play the guitar and sing this song about her, but I kind of need some funny stuff about Carol to put in there. And... You want something embarrassing about Carol? Oh. <laughs> You hit the mother load. Really? <laughs> yes, you have to let me help you. This will be so much fun. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, and I play the harmonica, so you have to work me into the band. <laughs> You're in. And I need my own trailer filled with Colt 45. I'll get you Colt 46. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have this uh, family thing, so I'll meet you back here tomorrow at 4. Okay, cool. Bye, flower girl. All right, bye. Mr. and Mrs. Martino, it is such a pleasure to finally get to spend some time with the two of you. Call me Frank. That's what everyone calls me. I was born Thomas, but everybody calls me Frank. You want to know why? Why? It beats the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alec. Oh, Dennis's brother. Hi, of course. I recognize you from the picture. Who do you think used to win in a fight between these two? Dad. Neither, because they would both punch like little schoolgirls. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, hey. hey. Nice All right, everybody, make yourselves at home. Our cocktail wings, your cocktail wings. Right. Daddy, thank you. Hey, baby. Oh, oh, hi. Hi. Okay. hi, Rita. Hi, how are you? Jack. Hey, sis. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Mr. nice to see you. Hello, Dennis. Uh, just give us a second. Sure. Uh, listen, Dennis, uh, I'm a straight shooter. <clears throat> okay. I wasn't happy that I didn't meet you before you and my daughter decided to get married, and that's, that's not easy for a father. Yeah, I understand. But the truth is, that is really just between me and Carol, not me and you. So, um, onward and upward, all right? Okay, thank you. Uh, right, she's shaking your butt. Dirty dancing. Dirty dancing. Dirty dancing. Dirty dancing. Dirty dancing. Dirty dancing. She's done. Uh, I'm a lineman for the county. Uh, Richard, that is not a movie title. Uh, well, you got something. Butt butt shake. Butt shake. Oh, oh, butt shake. Butt shake. Mr. Butt shake goes to Washington. What? Time. Oh, this Mr. Smith, Smith goes to Washington. <laughs> well, what is it? Booty call. That's the name of a movie? Yes. This is my booty. This is me calling. That was a good one, honey. Dennis, you're up. One way to go. Listen, I'm not much of a charades guy, but go. here we go. Okay. Uh, oh, uh... Tell us the category. Uh, yeah. Right. <clears throat> a movie. Uh, uh, ah, Sky? Yeah. Uh, Sky. No speaking. Oh, oh, um, do something, you big stiff. Um, Sky. Uh, over the rainbow. Evan, can we? Um, um, what is Wizard, that? Wizard of Oz? Like a... Saved the, by the uh, bell. Um... <laughs> hey, what are all those cars doing in the driveway? Uh, I, I can't play today. We got the Dennis and Carol thing going on. Oh, I totally forgot about that. I'm an idiot. Uh, all right, go back. No, no, why don't you come in? No, no, Mike, that's not my place. Oh, come on, we're playing charades. Charades? Watch it, Dennis!
those boats that you put on the lake and you pedal them like a bicycle to make them go? Pedal boats? Yeah, I thought that could be a fun part of our big Saturday together. Okay. Because I think that the pedal boat is the best proof that we humans are the most evolved of all the species. Pedal boats? Yeah, I mean, think about it. The light bulb, the computer, those are necessary. But the pedal boat, that's just us showing off. It's us taunting the other species, saying, hey, look what we can do. We can make a boat that's like a bicycle for no reason. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's it. What's it? You, dear sir, have to break up Carol Vesey's wedding. What? Ed, it's now or never. Once she gets married, she's gone for good. Why are you doing this? Because I'm selfish. Selfish how? Either you end up with Carol, which I can live with, or you don't end up with Carol, which I can totally live with. But me here talking about pedal boats while you're thinking about Carol, that I can't live with. Taking the church for a little test drive? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Molly. Yeah? Do you think I'm making a mistake? Getting married? Getting married to Dennis. Whew. Carol, that is some question. Be honest with me. Look, if I did think you were making a mistake by marrying Dennis, and I'm not saying that I do, but if I did, I couldn't tell you. Because once you got married, you would never, ever forget what I said. So, you see, that there is no way for a friend to give a truly honest answer to that question. Unless, of course, you didn't think I was making a mistake. Then there'd be no need to explain all that. You know, Ed, when I told you to break up Carol's wedding, this is hardly what I had in mind. Jennifer, when you're going to break up a wedding, you got to do something big. you gotta, you got to do, you gotta do the, the pounding on the window and the screaming, because that only applies in a situation with the bridesmaids Elaine. Yeah, but why can't you just go there and talk to her? I mean, how well, do you have to go in there and just barge into the wedding? Not, not my style, sister. Now, with Carol, okay, the pounding on the window and the screaming, it's not even an option. Why not? Because, because it would be Carol! Ca -ca Carol! Carol! It doesn't work. You need a bride with a two-syllable name with the accent on the second syllable, okay? Elaine! Elaine! See what I mean? Sadly, I do. <laughs> Howdy! Can I help you? Yes, you can. Are you Cowboy Willie? No. Oh, okay, well, this is... Uh, that's kind of important. Is there any way I could deal directly with Cowboy Willie? Cowboy Willie died in 1993. Oh. He choked on a biscuit. We're so... So sorry. We're so sorry. He was a bastard. Oh. What can I do for you? Okay, well, uh, look, I'm gonna level with you, um... What's your name? Willie. It's a coincidence. Right, okay. All right, well, Willie, uh, look, here's the thing. There's this girl, Carol, and she's gonna marry the wrong guy. So I'm gonna need a big, beautiful horse so I can ride right into the church, into the middle of the wedding, just like John Wayne, and say, Carol, do not marry that man! Or, or something like that. I'm still working on the actual line. Oh, that's good. Is it good? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Wait, 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 wait. Well, what do you mean? Why not? Why not? For a million reasons. First of all, hoof slide. Hoof slide? Hoof slide. That's right, hoof slide. You gallop a horse onto a church floor and it'll be sliding around like Dorothy Hamill after a fifth of Kahlua. No, no, no. I plan to go very slowly, very carefully inside the church. I know a thing or two about ponies. Come on, Willie. Have you ever done anything crazy for a girl? Tell you what, cowboy. If you can honestly answer yes to my next question, I'll let you do it. Shoot, Willie. Do you have a major credit card with a very big spending limit? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> There's no way I can use this. Well, wait, here's another one. You wanna know how Carol learned how to kiss? <laughs> By practicing on a Mr. T doll. <laughs> Get out of here. Shut up. Yep, she loved the 18. Get that down. No. No, you know what? Let it change your heart. I'm going sweet and sappy. Chicken. <laughs> what? Well, come on, you just gotta be your sister. I gotta get greeted by the woman. Sure. So, hey, what are you, what are you doing, Boston, anyway? I play left wing for the Bruins. Is that so? No, I really play goalie. All right, you know what? I'm gonna guess what it is you do. Okay. You are a, a publicist, consultant, salesperson, law student who works with children, and the elderly in a nursing capacity astronaut, pediatrician, truck driver. I work in a bookstore. Who works in a bookstore? You didn't let me finish. Turn to the right. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying. I thought you said you knew a thing or two about ponies. I do. I do. I just a thing or two. That's not a lot of things when you when you really think about it. Don't hold on to the rein so tightly, Ed. Like like this. That's it. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, she's settling down. I gotta go. Whoa. What's that? It's a trot. Ow. Bouncy. Ow. Bouncy. Sure gets your attention south of the border, doesn't it? Just move with the horse. Don't fight it. Oh, hey, I think I'm getting it. Okay. That's good. <laughs> okay, now if you want to stop, just pull back on the reins. Whoa! This marriage must not happen. <laughs> nah, that's not it. Woohoo! Good job riding, cowboy, Ed. I do believe I'm ready to break up a wedding. <laughs> All right, Willie. All right, well, I'll be back Saturday morning to pick up my trusty steed here. By the way, what's his name? This is Mrs. Fluffinutter. Oh. You're a... Oh. Are you sure it's okay to be eating ice cream in a cemetery? Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, it kind of makes me feel guilty, you know? It's like, here we are enjoying all this creamy deliciousness, and then there they are, you know, dead. <laughs> <laughs> I love cemeteries. So, Warren? Hmm? You got a girlfriend? A girlfriend? No. Why not? No, honestly, I decided to move beyond women. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I fear that, uh, you know, losing my virginity might compromise my intense spirituality. <laughs> Don't want to do that. <laughs> I used to come here all the time back in high school. Where you go? Why? This place always made all my problems feel small. It still does. I love cemeteries, too. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here at 6 in the morning? I know, I couldn't sleep. That's funny, neither could I. You okay? Yeah. Fine. Saturday's a big day, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I had a great time with your family. Oh, they love you. Oh, they're great people. Yeah, I have a feeling if I hadn't told Stella not to, she would have been all over you. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I need you to be there. Swedish pancakes. She loves Swedish pancakes. Nothing. I was just thinking. This is where you met mom, right? Of course. The ye old Stuckyville pie shop. Mm. <laughs> How many times have I told you that story? Tell me again. Well, okay. <clears throat> I was uh, 
standing in line right up there by the bakery counter. Your mother was just ahead of me. God, she was beautiful. She looked just like, uh, what's her name, from Bewitched. And she said to the counterman, give me three peach pies. Now, see, I want to flirt with her, so I uh, say, oh, why all the peach pies? And she looked at me and she said, I really, really like peach pie. And she left. I love that. So I asked around, found out who she was, and I started hitting every bakery in town. And that night, I showed up on a doorstep with 30 peach pies. Mm. <laughs> That's this history. I can't believe you did that. Oh, thank you. Well, this old flea-bitten moose you see before you was once a passionate young elk. <laughs> but I didn't know young elk grew up to be moose. Of course they do. So, what's your story? My story? Yeah, you know, the you and Dennis story. I mean, I want to hear it. How'd you meet? Uh, what did he do to win my Sammy's heart? You know, it was just... The, the usual kind of stuff. Oh, somebody's embarrassed to get mushy in front of Dad, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Cape or no cape? What? Personally, I say cape. I mean, if you're going to charge in there on a white stallion, there's really no point in dressing conservatively. No cape. Okay. Uh, but you like the suit, right? No suit. Why no suit? No cape, no suit, no horse. I can't do it, Jennifer. Why not? Because Carol came to see me and she told me how much she needs me at her wedding. You will be at her wedding on a mighty steed. What could be better than that? She needs me there as a friend. I believe Martino is your future. He will be your husband Saturday. Your true love for Dennis cannot be denied. You'll be a lovely bride. Still, I got to say that the thought of you and him making out is trouble. Decided long ago you had to be with Mr. Martino. He is tough, but he is fair. At least he doesn't dye his hair. No matter what your name might be, you'll always be our Miss Messi. Because the greatest love is happening. You. I think she liked it. She loved it. But I gotta say, you know, I was a little worried about rhyming you with Martini, but I don't think it bothered her. No, it blew right past her. <laughs> Mr. Cheswick, I do believe we killed. Yeah, we did. Thank you, Stella. Man, this was so cool. No, I had a blast. <laughs> well, I should let you get back to English. Right. Uh, Warren? Yeah. Do you feel like hanging out sometime? Yeah, sure. You mean like that'd be cool. You mean like go to the movies or something? Why don't we just stay in and watch TV or something? Okay. I'll come over around nine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Dennis. Yeah. What do you tell people when they ask how we met? You and me? Yeah. Tell them we met at an all-night massage parlor. What? Come on. Yeah. Seriously, what do you tell them? I tell them I got a job at a school where you were teaching. And then what? And then we took a really strong liking towards one another. Mm, more like a really strong hating, wouldn't you say? Jeez, what's on your mind? Two, please. Nothing. I was just talking to my dad this morning, and he was telling me about how when he met my mom, he brought her 30 pies the first time he asked her out. 30 pies? Oh, that's a lot of pies. That's impressive. Yeah. 
It's a really cute story, actually, and it got me to thinking about our story, you know? Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, Eli, uh, where's Ed? Oh, he went out shopping. What's up? Uh, no, it's kind of personal. All right, I'll tell him you stop by. What's your name again, Maurice? Yeah, Warren. I Actually, you got a second? Yeah, what you need? Uh, well, I, I need some advice. Uh, this Saturday night, I'm gonna be, uh, like, uh, intimate with a woman. <laughs> intimate? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. First time. Pull up a chair, nephew. Really? Yes, pull up a chair. Awesome. Thanks, you I, I... All right, first things first. Yeah. How old are you? Just turned 18. So I am street legal and ready to drive. <laughs> and the young lady? She's 28. God bless you. My man, God bless you. <laughs> Thanks. That is fine woman. Is she a sister? Because that's my area of expertise. No, actually, she's uh, she's about as white as a trans belly. <laughs> Oh, but she might be of, like, mixed ancestry. I, I can't totally rule that out. Oh, look, look, look. Doesn't matter. The fact is, every woman wants the same basic thing. Okay. Now, what's that? G. Okay. E. N. Orosity. Make sure she gets her pleasure before you take your own. And, uh, how do I, how do I do that? Just do what feels natural. Eli, please, can you draw me a diagram or write some exercises for me, please? But I need help. No, look, you don't need anything, dude. You have everything you need. I do. Just wait and see. It's gonna be like the Lord just gonna give you this magic hammer that knows how to build a house all by itself. No blueprints necessary. Okay. Thanks, Eli. <laughs> see you around. Anytime, Maurice. Hey. Yeah. You go out there and build me a mansion, but make sure you wear your work gloves. I think you might need one of these. Honey, you didn't have to do this. Listen, I am a reasonably bright guy. And I got what you were saying today. Oh, I wasn't trying to say anything. I really wasn't. I, I didn't. I, but this is... It's great. Wow. Look at this. It's great. So, <laughs> listen, I know who I am. And I know who I'm not. I'm not the life of the party. I'm not the king of romance. I'm certainly not the guy that every 12-year-old girl dreams she's going to marry when she grows up. Dennis. You ask me who I am. Who are you? I'm somebody who loves you more than he's ever loved anyone. Somebody who's happier than he ever thought he could be. And somebody who's going to spend the rest of his life trying to make you as happy as he can. That sound like a bad Kevin Costner movie? Mm -mm. Not at all. I love you. I love you. Well, this is it. You bought every kind of condom in the store. Yes, yeah, so which one should I use? You bought every kind of condom in the store? Yes, Mark, I'm aware of that, okay? There were too many choices, I, I couldn't decide. So c could you please give me a hand? Sorry. How about those? Those look pretty good. I don't know. Kind of kind of plain vanilla, aren't they? I, I, I need all the help I can get. Right. How about those? Those have all the extras. Yeah. Wow. No, see, but the thing is, I got to be careful because I don't want to look too, like, fancy down there, you know, too busy. Oh, please. What? Oh, come on. Imagine something this ornate coming at you. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's split the difference. These. These are perfect. Good. Glad you're happy. You think I should try one on? Yeah, I think you better. It still fits. Oh, 
good. I can't believe it after all the pie I ate. Oh, honey, you are going to look gorgeous tomorrow. Mm, thank you, Molly. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, maybe I'm going to have to take you down with a tranquilizer dart. I'm sorry, Molls, but how often in your life does everything feel perfect? Perfect, perfect, perfect. This feels perfect. In French, parfait. In Italian, perfect mundo. That's not Italian. That's Fonzarellian. Really? Then how do you say perfect in Italian? Carol. Yes. Are you trying to talk yourself into something? What? No. What are you talking about? <clears throat> hey, Molly. Hi. Just brought by a little pre-wedding gift for Carol. Ed. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm I'm interrupting. No, you're not. It's fine. I should. I should. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Something blue. Yeah. Oh my God, it's the wall. This is so messed up, you gotta see this. Are you kidding? I've seen this movie like 50 times. Yeah? Of course, what right-thinking person doesn't like Floyd? <laughs> so how long have you been in town? I'm heading back to Boston Sunday morning. Sunday morning? Really? Wow, that's kind of soon. Move back to Stuckyville. What? I'm serious. Still, I'm falling in love with you. It's like we're so you feel it? Yeah. I'm kissing the future Mrs. Stella Chadwick. Warren, I think you're getting a little carried away. No, Stella, I'm really not. But I'm ten years older than you. So what? Dinah Shore was twenty years older than Burt Reynolds. I'm sorry, Warren. I've got to go back to Boston. But that doesn't mean we can't. You mean I... Mm -hmm. What's the matter? You don't? Not if this is all it's gonna be. Are you sure? Parts of me are a little less sure than others. But yeah. Warren, I know 35 year old guys who aren't as mature as you. Maturity sucks. What time is the wedding? No. It's 11.15. Yeah. Shouldn't you go get dressed? Yeah. Are you gonna go get dressed? Yeah. Okay, Captain Moby. Time to cheer you up. Move over. What are you doing? I found this on the net. There's no way you can watch this without hysterically laughing. You ready?
you better go get dressed. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Daddy. This here is the single most beautiful sight I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Mm. Help me with this. Sure. So, uh, how you feeling? Oh, you know, terrified to the core of my being. Mm. Just butterflies. Pterodactyls. Ah, you'll be fine. Okay, okay. We gotta go. They're lining up out there. Mm. Already? Yep, it's time, sister. <laughs> okay. Uh, Molly, Molly. Fail. Fail. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let me help you with that. Okay. Okay. Malls? Yeah. Zed here. Uh, haven't seen him yet. Why? You need something? No. Okay, let's go down. Okay. <sighs> Willie! Hey, Willie! Oh, I thought you canceled. Yes, I did, but now I'm uncanceling. Oh, so you're going through with it. Yes, I am. <laughs> Willie, saddle up Ms. Fluffernutter. Oh, there's one problem, though. What's that? Mrs. Fluffernutter isn't here. What? She's out on the trail. Same with all the other horses. Well, you don't have any horses left to ride. What about that one? <laughs> you want to ride Crazy Jimmy? <laughs> oh, come on. You're actually telling me that the one horse left me to ride to the wedding is called Crazy Jimmy? <laughs> yup. Oh, well, great. That's just a little too perfect, don't you think? I mean, what? You call it Crazy Jimmy because it's not crazy at all, right? You call it crazy because it's, it's docile and uncontrolled. It's a sarcastic name, am I right? gathered here today to unite Dennis and Carol in marriage. Should there be anyone who has cause why this couple should not be united, they must speak now or forever hold their peace. Let's go, Crazy Jimmy. Anything? Crazy Jimmy. Afternoon, ma'am. You have a lovely home. Let's go, Crazy Jimmy. Learning to love and live together is the shared goal of a married life. You will now express your commitment to that goal through your vows. Dennis, do you take Carol to be your wife? Oh, boy. <laughs> Not so bad at all, Jimmy. There we go, Jimmy. Whoa, whoa, make it right, crazy. Make it right, make it right, crazy. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others? Please, Jimmy. In sickness and in health, till death do you part, I do. For the love of Pete! Carol, do you take Dennis to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do you part? I He's not here.
This is over. Disney World. What are you doing? I'm getting the hell out of here. Why? You were looking for Ed. What? What are you talking about? No, I should have seen this coming. You know what? I did see this coming. What did I do? You're supposed to be marrying me. You're scanning the church for another guy. You're about to say I do, and you're thinking about another guy. It's sort of a red flag, don't you think? You know, you're being crazy. No, I'm not. But I wasn't. Why would I be looking for Ed? Because you're in love with him. I'm in love with you. Goodbye, Carol. Dennis. 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 Hey, Mike. Hey. Did I miss it? There's no it. What's with the horse? What do you mean there's no it? The wedding's off. Why? Nobody knows. Where's Carol? She's inside. And what are you what are you doing? Here, just hold crazy Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Do you think I'm making a mistake? Getting married? Getting married to Dennis. Whew. Carol, that is some question. Be honest with me. Look, if I did think you were making a mistake by marrying Dennis, and I'm not saying that I do, but if I did, I couldn't tell you. Because once you got married, you would never, ever forget what I said. So, you see, that there is no way for a friend to give a truly honest answer to that question. Unless, of course, you didn't think I was making a mistake. Then there'd be no need to explain all that. You know, Ed... When I told you to break up Carol's wedding, this is hardly what I had in mind. Jennifer, when you're going to break up a wedding, you got to do something big. You, you got to do, you gotta do the, the pounding on the window and the screaming, Elaine! Because it only applies in a situation where the bride's name is Elaine. Yeah, but why can't you just go there and talk to her? I mean, how long do you have to go in there and just barge into the wedding? Not, not my style, sister. Now, with Carol, okay, the pounding on the window and the screaming, it's not even an option. Why not? Because, because it would be... Carol! Ka ka Carol! Carol! It doesn't work. You need a bride with a two-syllable name with the accent on the second syllable, okay? Elaine! Elaine! See what I mean? Sadly, I do. <laughs> Howdy! Can I help you? Yes, you can. Are you Cowboy Willie? No. Oh, okay, well, this is... Uh, that's well, kind of important. Is there any way I could deal directly with Cowboy Willie? Cowboy Willie died in 1993. Oh. He choked on a biscuit. We're so... So sorry. We're so sorry. He was a bastard. Oh. What can I do for you? Okay, well, uh, look, I'm gonna level with you, um... What's your name? Willie. It's a coincidence. Right, okay. All right, well, Willie, uh, look... Here's the thing. There's this girl, Carol, and she's going to marry the wrong guy. So I'm going to need a big, beautiful horse so I can ride right into the church, into the middle of the wedding, just like John Wayne, and say, Carol, do not marry that man. 
or, or something like that. I, I'm still working on the actual line. That's good. Is it good? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> what do you mean? Why not? Why not? For a million reasons. First of all, hoof slide. Hoof slide? Hoof slide. That's right, hoof slide. You gallop a horse onto a church floor and it'll be sliding around like Dorothy Hamill after a fifth of Kahlua. No, no, no. I plan to go very slowly, very carefully inside the church. I know a thing or two about ponies. Come on, Willie. Having you ever done anything crazy for a girl? The wrong. And no man's ever been able to escape. <laughs> I will escape the roll. You will not escape the roll. I will escape the roll. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> escape the roll. <laughs> I can't escape the rule. Told you. What happens now? I've suddenly grown fond of the rule. So I planned the perfect day for us. So far, so good. But it's not today. It's... What do you mean? It's next Saturday. Next Saturday? Mm-hmm. We're gonna start by waking up bright and early. We're gonna watch the sun come up. We're gonna take oh, a nice wait, long Wait, wait, wait. Next Saturday is Carol's wedding. I know, that's why I planned the perfect day for us. Oh, wait, I have... I have to go to Carol's wedding. Why? So you can be, like, all sad and mopey and, oh, poor, poor me? Well... Ed, the average person has 26,452 days on this earth. Do you really want to spend one of them watching Carol Vesey marry Dennis Martino? No. No, I don't. Honey, no, I've said it a thousand times, but I will say it again. I really appreciate you changing your mind about Ed coming to the wedding. No problem. It's really important to me that he's there. Listen, I don't care who else is there as long as you show up. Hmm. celebrate my big sister's wedding with the sincere hope of having a few too many wine spritzers and hooking up with the groomsmen. <laughs> but your flight wasn't due in until 7 p.m. Oh, I know. I ended up not flying. You didn't? What? How'd you get here? Uh, a few of us were out, and I met this guy, Ron. He, he does something with money or something, and uh, he offered me a ride. Wait, you met a man in Boston who offered you a ride to Ohio? Yep. Is he here? No, he dropped me off and went back. Really? So where's the big man of mystery? I want to meet my future brother-in-law. He's upstairs. <laughs> Yo, Dennis, get your ass down here and meet the better Vesty sister. Shut up. So, Eddie, what can you tell us about the reappearance of your little friend, Jennifer? A little too early to tell. Well, one thing to tell is she's still hot. She's very, very hot. Is that right, Michael? Just because I'm on a diet doesn't mean I can't eat food. The saying it's just I'm on a diet doesn't mean I can't read the menu. And I don't want to read the menu. I want to eat the food. Well, you can't, Mike, because you're on a diet. That's right, the Nancy diet. The lifelong Nancy diet. Sorry, buddy. Ah, oh, look at this. It's the gang. Hey, guys. It's so adorable the way you guys just, like, chew on life and rib each other. I love it. Have you seen that show 30-something? What can we do for your warrant? I decided to write a hilarious song parody in honor of Carol's impending nuptials. And uh, I thought we could all have a little inside baseball talk, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, her, uh, her foibles, embarrassments, sex exploits. I don't think Miss Vessie would like you putting her sex exploits to a song. So, there are sex exploits. She's here. <laughs> All right, everybody pretend like we're talking about something else. My God, the dollar just seems more vulnerable than ever, huh? First the euro, then the yen. Pretty soon the peso's gonna be kicking our ass. Oh, hi, Miss Vesey. Hi, guys. Everybody, I want you to meet my little sister, Stella. Obviously, no Molly. Nancy, hi. Mike, hi. Warren, Mark, hi. and hi. Ed. Hey. So let's get right to it. Who's doing what on the big day? Oh. Nancy, you're a bridesmaid? Yeah. yeah. Molly, you ousted me for the maid of honor spot, which I'm cool with. Good. 
What about you two? Flower girls? <laughs> Mark and Warren are actually my students. Do you ever fall asleep when she talks? I do. Yeah, all the time. Warren. Hey, don't come on. I'm just rapping with Stella. There's a brave one. What about you, Ed? Can we make him an honorary bridesmaid? Um. <laughs> Carol. Yeah. Can I talk to you a second? Sure. I'm not coming to the wedding. What? Yeah, I just, I just don't think it'd be a good thing. Wow, um, that's a surprise. This, is this about Dennis? Because, you know, he's actually fine with you coming. No, it's not Dennis. I just think it'd be better for everyone if I wasn't there. Okay, if, uh, if you think that is best. It is. Okay. All right, check this. My name is Warren Cheswick and I'm here to say Kiro Vesey's getting married in every way. Holy crap. What? You have achieved a level of lameness so pure it can only be recreated in strict laboratory conditions. What are you talking about, Ben? Of course, take care of this, you rap. She's getting married in every way. Really? Is, is that just fine with you? Oh, hey. This is Miss Vessie's little sister. You know, maybe she can give me some stuff to work with. Excuse me, uh, Stella, right? Flower girl. <laughs> right. What kind of trouble are you up to? Trouble? No, no trouble. No? When I was your age, I was always in trouble. <laughs> really? Now I'm old, so I slowed down a little bit. Oh, come on, you're not old. Guess my age, I'll give you a cell back. I don't know, like, uh, 28. 59 last Thursday. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need to write, like, this funny song about Miss Fessy. Well, please call her Carol. Miss Fessy will freak me out. Okay, well, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, like, play the guitar and sing this song about her, but I kind of need some funny stuff about Carol to put in there. And... You want something embarrassing about Carol? Or... <laughs> You hit the mother load. Really? <laughs> yes, you have to let me help you. This will be so much fun. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, and I play the harmonica, so you have to work me into the band. <laughs> You're in. And I need my own trailer filled with Colt 45. I'll get you Colt 46. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have this uh, family thing, so I'll meet you back here tomorrow at 4. Okay, cool. Bye, flower girl. All right, bye. Mr. and Mrs. Martino, it is such a pleasure to finally get to spend some time with the two of you. Call me Frank. That's what everyone calls me. I was born Thomas, but everybody calls me Frank. You want to know why? Why? It beats the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alec. Oh, Dennis's brother. Hi, of course. I recognize you from the picture. Who do you think used to win in a fight between these two? Dad. Neither, because they would both punch like little schoolgirls. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, thank you. All right, everybody, make yourselves at home. Our cocktail wings, your cocktail wings. Right. Daddy, thank you. Hey, baby. Come on, see you. Hi. Okay. Hi, Rita. Hi, how are you? Jack. Hey, sis. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Mr. Bessie, nice to see you. Hello, Dennis. Uh, just give us a second. Sure. Uh, listen, Dennis, uh, I'm a straight shooter. <laughs> okay. I wasn't happy that I didn't meet you before you and my daughter decided to get married, and that's, that's not easy for a father. Yeah, I understand. But the truth is, that is really just between me and Carol, not me and you. So, um, onward and upward, all right? Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, dirty dancing! Dirty dancing! Dirty dancing! Dirty dancing! She's dancing! She's dancing. dancing. She's dancing. Oh, I'm a lineman oh, oh, for the oh, county! Oh, Richard, that is nine. not a movie title. Oh, well, you got oh, something? Butt shake! Butt shake! Oh, butt shake! Oh, oh, Richard, butt shake goes to Washington! What? Time! Oh, it's it's Mr. Smith <laughs> goes to Washington! Well, what is it? Booty call. That's the name of a movie? Yes. This is my booty. This is me calling. That was a good one, honey. Dennis, you're up. One, two, three, go. Booty call. All right, all right. Listen, I'm not much of a charades guy, but here we go. Okay. Uh. Oh, uh. Tell us the category. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> movie. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Sky? Yeah. Sky? No speaking. Oh, sorry. Um, Do something, you big stiff. 
Dumb sky. Oh, over the rainbow. Evan, can we? Um, um, what is that? Wizard, Wizard of Oz? Like a... Saved the, by the uh, bell. Um... Hey, what are all those cars doing in the driveway? I, I can't play today. We got the Dennis and Carol thing going on. Oh, I totally forgot about that. I'm an idiot. Uh, I right, go back. No, 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 why don't you come in? No, no, Mike, that's not my place. Oh, come on, we're playing charades. Charades? Watch it, Dito! Put on the lake and you pedal them like a bicycle to make them go. Pedal boats? Yeah, I thought that could be a fun part of our big Saturday together. Okay. Because I think that the pedal boat is the best proof that we humans are the most evolved of all the species. Pedal boats? Yeah, I mean, think about it. The light bulb, the computer, those are necessary. But the pedal boat, that's just us showing off. It's us taunting the other species, saying, hey, look what we can do. We can make a boat that's like a bicycle for no reason. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's it. What's it? You, dear sir, have to break up Carol Vesey's wedding. What? Ed, it's now or never. Once she gets married, she's gone for good. Why are you doing this? Because I'm selfish. Selfish how? Either you end up with Carol, which I can live with, or you don't end up with Carol, which I can totally live with. But me here talking about pedal boats while you're thinking about Carol, that I can't live with. Taking the church for a little test drive? Hmm. <laughs> 